What's up, y'all? It's your boy Bush from Let's Figure Fitness Together. And right now, I'm going to break down Caesar salad to you guys. One thing about Caesar salad, we all love it, but we got to be very careful because it's very fattening. And, and I want to just break it down for you guys, show you a way to still have it and enjoy it, but the, a healthier way and a less calorie way. But before we start, I want to introduce my Aunt Yvette. And she's Hello, coming everyone. with me today. She's been helping me out with my motivation, with my fitness things and everything. I'm so thankful for her. I just want to shout her out real quick. She's a smart lady. She has a master in sociology, very brilliant woman, and a great cook as well. So I got her with me today. So I want to let you guys see a couple of things. And right now, I want to point out one thing, uh, the Caesar dressing. You want to use a Caesar vinaigrette because this cuts down at least 60% of the calories in the dressing alone. And dressing alone, you know... It's very fattening. It's very fattening. It's, it's one thing that's very fattening. So you want to be You like thin. the salad, but hate the fat. You, you hate the fat. You, but that's one thing with salads. You, you want to thinking you're doing a good thing when you're really not. You get lettuce that's romaine. The other lettuce is not that good. What's the lettuce called? Those crispy lettuce that is. It's no nutritional value. Water, have no so this is the type of lettuce you want to get. Definitely want to use kale. Kale is very healthy. You got a nutritional value. Very good to eat on your own. Very good to eat. Me, I need a little flavor on mine, but <laughs> definitely want to use that. And when you're seasoning your chicken, first of all, when you're in the supermarket, you want to try to get hand trimmed chicken. It's a lot easier to clean when you get mm -hmm. home. It's a little bit better to work with, maneuver with, and it's faster to cook. So, but what right now I want to show you, I use today for the Caesar dressing, um, the Caesar seasoning I'm using is um, pretty much a zesty Italian. Only reason why I'm using this because I want to be careful of the salt in the season that I'm using mm -hmm. because. If you season your food with the all-purpose stuff, this is very high in salt. You want to be careful with the salt. The salt is like one of the biggest things. And, and, and I don't know all the negatives and positives of salt. Especially if you're dealing with health issues, you don't want to use You don't want to use that. And you don't want to use that in your face. So shout out to Kraft anyway for this because I didn't even know they had this type of stuff. <laughs> because there's no artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup, and no synthetic coloring, which is really good. And it's only 60 calories. So you got 60 calories of flavor going on. You, you, you know what I mean? You you cook it up. Get out. And, and you make it taste good. So, right? And before you do all that, you wanna you wanna use extra virgin olive oil. Especially for frying. Especially if you don't wanna use the conventional oils. Take use this extra olive oil. I'm telling you, it that's the best. It don't, it's only 120 calories. You don't even you can eat as much as the food you want because it's not holding too much fat and everything like that. And it, just be careful with it because it heats up really fast. Being that it heats up really fast, you want to keep your temperature on low. Yep. Keep it low. Oh, you'll get some burnt cutlets. <laughs> Definitely gonna get some burnt cutlets. <laughs> Me the cutlets already wet and mixing with the oil, so you wanna be careful. And one thing you also wanna do, you wanna keep your, your your pot handle out this way. The safety. I learned it in Concord when I went to high school. I don't know everything, but Ms. Heggy said make sure the thing was out, so we gotta make sure it's out. So that's what we do. Shout out mm -hmm. to Ms. Heggy for that one. What so, about that pepper, nephew? What you doing with well, that? Well, me like personally. I like, like my grandmother, she liked a lot of hot stuff with her healthy food. That was like one of her things she used to do. She used to put hot stuff in all her food. I hate hot stuff. And one, that's one thing me and my grandmother had is hot stuff. So with me, when I season my food, when I don't have too much flavor, I rely on pepper a little bit. Pepper's cool for me. If you can't deal with the fresh hot pepper, you definitely do take a little bit of black pepper. Be mm -hmm. careful with black pepper, though, because it doesn't digest as easily. You want to get white pepper. Exactly. White pepper is pretty expensive though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like a little thing like this is it's like probably like eight bucks. It's, or maybe a little cheap, like four dollars. Most people use sea salt. Yeah, you, you can use sea salt, but be careful with the sea salt. You gotta use the sparingly. Definitely wanna use the sparingly and be careful with that with the pepper. And try to, you know, get the white pepper because it digests a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, it does. And um and a lot of people use the the parmesan, the um, the, the parmesan is like grated already. You wanna get the fresh shaved one because mm -hmm. it tastes better. You don't have to use that and much. And it holds the flavor more. And it holds the flavor more. And it's healthier. And that's the thing. You want to just keep it healthy at all times. Because this simple salad will raise your calorie count up to thousands by just putting in all the extra stuff. And you think you're doing a good job, but you're not. So you definitely want to keep all the calories low. That's one thing I want to point out to you guys. And and that's pretty much it. If you have to use, you know, croutons, use a little bit. I personally wouldn't use croutons because that's that's bread. You want to stay away from the bread at all times. Leave the bread alone. I throw a little parsley in there. Mm -hmm. You see how the chicken come out? I'm ready to eat that. Yeah, I'm about to put it in right now. <laughs> oh, you hear that sizzling, folks? 
That's letting you know it's ready. It's ready to get that bubble Yeah, out. yeah. And you want to definitely make sure you get some. Make sure your oil is a little hot because you don't want mm -hmm. your food just sitting in the oil. Yeah. And I'm kind of ghetto right now with the fork moving. <laughs> but I'm going to get them moved around a little bit. And these don't take long to make, these cutlets. That's why you want to get this kind of cutlet. They're thinner, easy to cook, and you'll be eating like, like, 10 like right away. Yeah, <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Listen, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring something to your attention. When you're cooking your chicken cutlets, you wanna you wanna make sure you see how it's coming away. You wanna make sure the whole chicken is white before you flip it to the other side. Definitely wanna make sure of that. So you, you know, just to make sure your chicken is cooked all the way through. You don't want no uncooked chicken because it's, you can get diseases from uncooked chicken. You don't want that. That's no good. So Coli. Yeah, definitely that. And you know. That's pretty much it. So I just want to let you guys know a healthier way of, of cooking the Caesar, the Caesar salad. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like Caesar salad and I don't like to not eat things that I like because it kind of like throws you off on the dieting. You want to constantly keep things that you like that you're dieting. And you want to go out and try to do new things, try new things. You never know, you might like it because a lot of stuff I didn't like. I, I didn't even know about no zesty Italian one day. I was in the crib, I just threw something in there, tried it out, and I actually really like it. So you might not like it, so you can season it your own way. But for me, it works out pretty good. So it's your boy from Let's Figure Fitness. I'm about to get you this chicken. And while you wait, have that H2 on here. Definitely have that H2 on here. And let's figure fitness together. God bless. God bless.